I mean, uh, it looked like you were getting really emotional. Some people have an image of you that you're very sure of yourself, but you seem to shiver there for a little while. You seem to win over the fans with this attitude. What did you feel at that moment? Well, I felt that people truly cared for me and that, you know, they had a great uh, attitude towards, towards me. I know that the pressure I have here is more than I had back at Man U, but I'm someone who has confidence and I'm, I just want to adapt as fast as possible to prove what I'm really worth and I'm just willing to give it my best. Cristiano. <laughs> Cristiano. Hi. Gary Hi. from Sky Sports. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good reception. You must be very pleased. Yeah. Obviously, though, there's a little part of you that has some feeling still for what you've left behind. Any thoughts for the United fans, for Sir Alex and your former teammates? Well, I have to, I have to say thank you to all, all supporters, my boss, my, my friends, my teammates. You know, because, you know, I've been uh, six years in the club. And of course, I have friends there, big relationship with the uh, old people there. But the people will understand my decision, and b the people respect that. Of course, it's a great challenge now. You know, the people know my dream is to play in Madrid. And uh, but I'm gonna miss many, many things in in Manchester. You know, but this is the life. This is my new house, uh, my new club, and I'm gonna give 100% for this club. Eh, muchas felicidades eh, por el día de hoy, por estar aquí. Eh, has estado durante mucho tiempo en el Manchester. ¿Tienes algún pensamiento para, para tu antiguo equipo? Sí, eh, para todos mis compañeros, a mis jefes. He estado seis años con ellos, he tenido una gran relación. Han sido unos, eh, unos buenos momentos, y, eh, pero mis compañeros eh, respetan el, eh, mi decisión. Esto es un, uh, un gran desafío, es, uh, ha sido un sueño para mí el de estar en el Madrid, aunque claro que voy a echar de menos cosas de, de mi antiguo equipo. Hola, soy Manu Sainz de Marca. Hola, soy es Manu Sainz de Marca Sports Daily. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien, gracias. Quiero preguntarte de todo lo que has vivido hoy, qué fue el momento más bonito y qué fue el momento más bonito. Y qué dice Stefano sobre el número 9 de la camiseta de la número 9. Fue un momento muy especial. Well, it was a very special uh, moment to, to meet one of the iconic uh, players of world football and of Real Madrid. It was just like uh, meeting Bobby Charlton for the first time when I first arrived at Manchester United. It's a pleasure to meet people like these. You know, myths of football. Eusebio was here today. It's, it's a pleasure. Uh, Dear Stefano said, good luck, I, I hope everything goes well for you, and of course I was very appreciative. It was truly one of the most beautiful moments of my life. Hello, good evening. Chus Galan from Tel Madrid TV station. Welcome. You said it was a dream for you, it was a childhood dream for you to play uh, for Real Madrid. Did you ever imagine that Real Madrid would have to make the disbursement they have made and to make this dream, this your dream, come true in this, in this fashion? Well, I have always thought that the best clubs, to have the best players, well, they have to pay. So what I think is that Real Madrid did uh, a good thing. I just think that it was a correct decision. I understand people because it is not your everyday uh, thing to, to, you know, to manage these uh, digits. But I'm happy to be the most expensive player in the uh, history of football, and I'm going to prove to them that they paid good money for me and that it was worth it. Yeah, Ross Vermerg, what do you think of the proposal to, to raise the taxes for uh, uh, foreign footballers and to cancel the Beckham Act. Once again, what do you think of this proposal? I don't want to talk about that. Taxes is something that I just don't want to talk about. 
Essa é uma pergunta de futebol. Tens mais uma se queres, podes fazer. Uh, you can make another. Uh, you can ask me another question, but not about taxes. Aí Cristiano, boas noites. Cristiano, good night. Good evening. Sr. Sanchez from La Sexta TV station. When you stepped into the Real Madrid changing room, did you think about everything that uh, had gone that you had gone through? Um, Sporting Lisboa, Manchester United. Of course, of course I have. It is it was an ambition of mine since I was a very young boy to play here. And after I played at Manchester United I wanted to change and this is the closest club to my heart, I have no doubts. I truly feel something, you truly feel something when you kiss the badge for the first time. It was a very special moment for me. Cristiano, good evening. Welcome. Jose Alzola from BRT News. Your picture with all the European Cups and Champions League Cups of Real Madrid was beautiful. You know that uh, Real Madrid has lost in the last 16 stage um, of the Champions League. Will that come to an end with you playing here? Well, I don't know. I was here during the presentation and I was all alone, but during the games it will be me and another 10 players playing, so I will be a part of it and I will give my best. And that's what I can promise. I think that we have a great team, we have a great coach. We have to think and take it slowly, step by step. And then, uh, you know, the ultimate goal is to win the Champions League. I think we have, uh, you know, a big chance, but we have to work well and uh, we'll see. Aquí. Buenas noches, Cristiano. Antonio Good Merino evening, Cristiano. Antonio Merino from El Periódico Newspaper. You scored 25 goals with Manchester United last year. Would you bet on a number of goals uh, to score with Real Madrid on your first season? Ronaldo, phenomenal Ronaldo, also did this. What I really want is to adapt truly fast. Uh, of course, then after that, the goals will come. Yeah, I have no objectives at this point. What I'm going to try to do is uh, give a lot of assists, score a lot of goals. But I'm just promising that I will try. From the TV port, uh, TV uh, from the Portuguese TV. Nas bancadas, tanta cor portuguesa nesta festa. Que sentimento é que tiveste nesse momento? E que tu és um homem de retos, de, de objetivos. Qual é o teu ponto agora seguinte, depois de fazer história hoje no futebol mundial? Bom, é sempre bom estarmos no estrangeiro e vermos bandeiras do nosso país, Portugal. Vi muitas da Madeira. E é sempre momentos de, que nos deixam orgulhosos. Agora a minha meta é, depois daquilo que, que se fez hoje, a história, as transferências, isso já está ultrapassado. Agora há que pensar, dar o melhor, ser novamente o melhor, ajudar o clube a ganhar o, naquilo que está incluído e demonstrá-los que foi uma contratação certa, tenho a certeza que... Uh, unfortunately, our translator doesn't quite do Portuguese, but there we go. There's uh, Cristiano Ronaldo there answering questions, including one from our very own Gary Cottrell. I think it's fair to say he didn't like taxes.